Is it money? Okay. How many years was that? Twenty? Ten? Terminated. Oh, there's Woody. Is dead over there. He's dead. Guess I'm giving up. Oh, because I open a drawer, all the sounds of typing stops. Dear Izzy, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I've lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Rain Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was the most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Aww. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sketchy. Okay. Okay. I guess I could do that. Beautiful hills. Mountains. Whatever they are. Oh, the dead bird. Hello. Okay. Skip. Hello, you must be Izzy. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mary Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. I mean, I guess I can. Ooh. Got a big mess around here. This is Rain Farm. See, see? <laughs> Even I'm concerned. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have cleaned it up in no time. Dedication? What's that? And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. So there's that guy. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic, I suppose. There's a hole in the porch right here. That's a little concerning. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> That's cute. Don't listen to her, Izzy. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. <laughs> the, the face. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Like a stalker. That's pretty creepy. Why nighttime? Well, good luck. Why nighttime of all times? Couldn't come at like one in the afternoon? No? Oh, I have a rooster? Okay. Okay. Fifteen parsnip seeds from Mary Lewis. Okay, okay. So look at the TV. Living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Okay. Journal. Introductions. Uh, introduce yourself around town. Two of 28 people. Fun. Okay. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to kill the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop, water every day. Okay. Okay. Fire. Okay, okay. Oh, but it's such a mess. Okay. Side. Okay, and see to work it. Ooh, just got some seeds. Cool. And fiber. Ah! I'm just doing one thing at a time instead of just doing them all and clearing a whole section. Oh, that's just regular grass. Well, now I can't even get here, so... Ah! No, this way! Oh. Oh, when I have the mouse facing a certain direction. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, there is a frog. So... Probably first I should be going around and greeting people, but... It's like 7.50 in the morning and I don't know about them. I don't know why I'm awake, but... I would be sleeping still at 8 in the morning. I don't want to get up until 10. Let me... I'll just finish this up and then go into town and see who we can meet. Actually, I'll just skip forward all of this into me going to meet people. So, uh, see you back in a minute. Okay, as you can see, we are here. We just walked out of our farm. We're gonna look around a bit. I know from previous play experience, you can grab these things. I don't have enough room to grab that. So you can go into your inventory, get rid of that, because I know you can collect these things and you sell them. And that's how you can start making up money to get more seeds. So, first I think we're gonna go here, hello, it's a pleasure to meet you, I'm Harvey, the local doctor, he's got glasses and mustache, okay, is that it? Oh, I perform regularly checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town, it's rewarding work, I would assume so. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Away. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you had just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Okay. I will keep that in mind. There's another person who walked away. P. 
people. Louis. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. I love how she doesn't introduce herself. <laughs> Hello, you must be Izzy, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met her, my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. I am also the pale one with the purple hair, so I will go talk to her next. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, so... Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Hmm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring the overgrown fields by myself. Oh. Oh, was that a... Go back here. Hello. Hey, it's Miss Izzy, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, the owner uh, owner of the local general store. Hello. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Sure. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Okay. Oop. Where's Abby going? Okay. I'm just gonna start going into people's houses because I couldn't care less. Like an old dude. Hello. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> oh, what a grumpy old guy. What's around here? There's a young dude in there without a shirt on. Sure, okay. Dog. But where's the dog? Is there a reason this is here and there's no dog? I'm concerned. What can I get for you? I'll take a... I don't know. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardot Saloon. Good evening. Can I get you anything? Oh, it just repeats. Oh, okay. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Hi, Granny. Alright, Granny. I'll be on my way. Look, houses. Let's enter these. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okie dokie. That's all. Do we go in here? Okay. Next house it is. Nope, no one's home at all. Okay, okay. Three ten in the afternoon. Sewer. Oh, graveyard. Let's go look at the graves. Oh, they don't say anything. Oh, I'm about to destroy them. Our beloved Mona. It's old and faded. So, it's old and faded, our beloved Mona, and some other language. Let's go down here. Oh, hello. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. Look at that hair. <laughs> that hair, though. Okay. I'm Elliot, and I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, me too, I guess. Got here, though. The beach. The beach. Shells. This way. Oh, 
the paint. Oh, that's Lewis. Oh, whoever it is is gone. Fishing. All right. Where have you gone fishing? Sturdy Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Is it Gunther? Gunther? I can make fun of you. I should become Ice King. There's a book missing here. There's a book missing here. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require little maintenance. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow multiple seasons like corn. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a scythe. Okay. What is Is that a bear? A teddy bear? It's ragged, but still cute. I'm sure it is. Oh, so this is where the minerals were taken. Jesus, that's a lot of minerals that were stolen. Okay. Mm, how many people have you greeted so far? Uh, introductions. I have greeted 13 out of 28 people. There's quite a few people to go. Okay, and we can go up here. Oh, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So this is the Smith's place. Let's go over here. There's a lot of flowers everywhere. Here's Jojo Mart. Welcome to Georgia Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Georgia Customer Satisfaction Representative. He looks creepy. When you decide you want to become a Georgia member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition to a joyous experience. Um, no, he's repeating. I like how there's all this space, but nothing's interactable. No, I need to say hi to her. I guess not. 7.20, probably could start heading back soon, but you know. And by now, there should be people in the saloon, right? That's usually what I'm assuming. No, I don't need a drink, but thanks for offering. Hello. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Pam's looking rough. Nothing like a sip of the good stuff to warm these old bones. Okay. Okay. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Wow. He could use some work. It was a little rude, but okay. Alright, I can take that. Oh, wait. Er, hi. I'm Clint. Oh. Poor Clint. Is he shy? I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay, thanks. 
to work. And it's night time, so probably some people are already going to sleep. And we're gonna wander around up here. It's locked. Okay. Probably not gonna get to greet everyone in one day. Just because it's nighttime. Yep. 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Darn. I mean, this is a pretty place. I'm not sure how I would feel living somewhere with like a bunch of cliffs and stuff like it is. Hello. A stranger? Hello. Linus is looking rough. Don't mind me, I just live here alone. Poor Linus. Linus is homeless. Can I invite Linus to live with me? Because I feel really bad for him. Give me that leak. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't do my whole yard, or we wouldn't have had any time to go to meet anyone out here. So, that's my first day. Maybe I should go ahead and plant some stuff. So we're gonna plant these parsnips here. And we'll grow some by tomorrow or just a little bit. Because I know that's where you make the most money. 